Hello, hello, hello. James T. back with you again. All right, I promised you I was going to show you how I changed the oil on my SNS engine. Uh, hope I can show you this. It's not that easy to get up under here. But whereas on the Harley Davidson twin cam, you have a bolt that you loosen to get the oil to drain out. I do not. Let me see, can I show you what I'm talking about? Hold on a moment. All right. See, I don't have a drain plug under here for the oil. I've got to actually go down, take this clamp off, and drain the oil out of here. That's how I have to drain my oil from the engine uh, crankcase. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a hassle. You can imagine when I was getting ready to do my first thousand mile break-in oil change, <laughs> I got down here, I couldn't find the plug. And it's a good thing they gave me a big old book, SNS book. Uh, I'll actually give you a glimpse of that later. But that's what I've got to do. I've already warmed the engine up, so I'm not going to go through the whole oil change thing, but just want you to know that. And it's a hassle. But we're on to it. And out comes the oil. Layers of grease, sweat, and blood mingling with rising fungus. The air was filled with the sounds of their own breathing. After I'll, I'll just let this sit for a while, and then I'll get the oil filter off. Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, JT here again, and uh, got some problems just doing a simple oil change. Well, not the oil change itself. I'm doing a three-hole oil change. Which means my my main oil, engine oil, my transmission oil, and my primary oil. Got a problem. I just want to show it to you right quick and see if I can work it out. See if you can see this here. Now, here's the problem. I can't get to this screw here. For the derby cover derby yeah whatever right here and you just better take this out but it's been kind of rounded off there the hex head i'm going to get this out and when i do i'm going to change it to a grade eight bolt i think that's a five it came stock i'm going to change it out to an eight because it shouldn't be stripping out like that let me give you a closer view you can see that thing See that? Look at that, man. Yeah. So, it's not coming out too easy. So I gotta figure a way to get that derby cover off. Okay, I'll be, maybe, maybe I'll try something else on that right quick. I'll be back with you in a minute. Well, I guess I gotta take that back. I got it to turn. Watch this. Oh yeah. Okay. Now that I can get this to turn, I can get this thing off. Let's see. There we go. Oh, I want to show you another difference on my 06 Rogue Glide versus later years in terms of changing primary oil how I have to drain the oil Yeah, I've never heard of it before, and I was like, are you serious? And she's like, yes, the cat has no teeth, and the cat is a good piece. 
Okay, the oil is finished draining out. And now that I have the bike level, I'm gonna go ahead and add my oil. I am using this good oil here. See that? Yeah. And got this. You don't have to have one of these, but I think it'll make it a little easier. I'm trying to get it in there. I'm not gonna show all this, I'm just wanna let you know what's going on. Okay, thanks. Anyway, this is the book that saved my butt. The first time I changed oil on the S, &S engine without this manual, I've been completely lost. Anyway, so that's that. Anyway, what else? All right, that took me longer than I thought it was going to. I, just, I think it's still be a pretty short video though. I just wanted to show you the differences with the NS and S engine oil change. Everything else is the same. I wanted to show you the difference between a 2006 Rogue Glide versus, I think after 2008, they changed and put a drain plug in and much easier to change the oil that way. But that's for the primary side. Everything else is the same. But I want to comment on doing your own wrenching on your bike. At least the three hole oil, oil change. And I bring that up for a reason. As you know, I have a, a Baker six speed in my bike. I had that put in probably in 2020 December 2020 uh, well actually before that what happened was I didn't take my Harley Davidson to Sturgis in 2020 the height of the COVID scare right I didn't take my my, my Harley Davidson I rode my my Honda Rune let me tell you the bike is not a good road bike it's good for blissing down the street going through Needles Highway that was hell some of those hairpin turns, the bike is heavy. Uh, with the shaft drive, it was jocking me. Uh, it, it was it was no fun. Of course, once I got to some open road, yeah, that was that was a blast. But wrenching on your own bike, why am I bringing that up? Well, with my Baker six speed, I had it put in by a shop that I know reputable, and it's in El Cajon. I'm not gonna name the name of the shop. But, and I just read the, the work report on it, and they said they had put a, a, a quart of gill oil in. Now, I was under the impression that they had changed the oil, right, when they put the Baker 6-speed in. That's the impression I got. That's what I thought. And between that time, December, I guess it was, I got back from Sturgis, September... Then I finished with my bike until November of 2020, and I started riding the bike. And between then and Sturgis 2021 and coming back, I would say I didn't put any more than, what, 10,000 miles on the bike. I haven't been riding that much because of work, a lot because of work. I just, so much work to do, but anyway, I don't want to get all that crap. You want to hear that stuff. We all got work things we got to do, right? Anyway, when I changed out my transmission fluid, oh my God, man. I pulled the drain plug out. I almost wanted to cry because that oil was so black. I had it in my, I, I didn't, I was so shocked to see the condition of the oil that I didn't even take a picture of it or anything. But I couldn't even see my fingers or the plug in my hand. It was so black. It reminded me of soot that had gotten wet with water. It was that thick. Didn't have any metal fragments in it, but it was thick and it was black. I mean black. It wasn't even grayish or brownish. It was dirty, dirty black. I'm thinking, uh, they were supposed to change my oil when they put the six speed in, right? I don't know if they did, I don't know if they just added oil to it, but only having 10,000 miles on that transmission, the oil should not have been black. Anyway, I changed it out, 
But that's the advantage to wrenching on your own bike. You know what you did, you know when you did it, you know what kind of oil you put into it, you know when you put the oil into it, and you know what you got. You know, because you did it. Of course, the, the, on the flip side is, if things get you know, effed up, you know, it's going to get yourself to blame too, right? That's why you got to check all your specs, your torquing specs, make sure you get everything right, everything tight. This is the second time I went to a shop and I had a mishap. And you notice my Derby cover. Derby? Derby? Well, the cover. It says, live to ride, ride to live. Well, that's because the one I had, I had just taken the bike to the shop. And they didn't put it on right. And I started riding the bike and it just flew off. And that was after I got home. I went for a ride. I was wondering where the smoke was coming from. I looked down and there it was gone. So I had to buy another one. And my granddaughter picked that one out for me. So that's why that's on there. Anyway, that's this video. I want to thank you for looking. We are still be going to Sturgis. We're going to still be going to Sturgis. What kind of English is that? Anyway, we're still headed for Sturgis. Still got some prep work to do. I'm going to talk about packing some new stuff this year. And I'll get back with you later, all right? I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I don't, I don't do a lot of video posting. I work a lot. And it, it, it gets, I'm, I'm getting tired of the work, but I thank God for it, right? Anyway, hey, look, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna waste your time with that. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Sign and subscribe. I mean, like and subscribe. And look, we're gonna catch you on the flip side, get the rubber side down, and we're gonna see you in Sturgis. Later.